at Pac-12 Media Days with USC's Adoree Jackson. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Adoree, finally the big man on the team. Here you are at Media Days. How's it going for you? Uh, it's going going well. i seen like Marquise Lee do it, Hayes Pilar, Sue Cravens, and I always wanted to do it just to be in front of the camera and smile and have fun. So I'm having fun, enjoying it. It's been a blast. You were a little bit in the spotlight in the spring, not because of spring football, because of track and field. It uh, came up a little bit short of your Olympic hopes, but tell me how the track season went for you. Just a great atmosphere to be out there with the best athletes in, in their sport. I mean, a lot of I, did, I was shocked that a lot of people knew who I was for, on a football standpoint, and um, it, it was just different just to go out there and they'd be like, oh yeah, we know who you are. I was talking to Will Clay, who's uh, an amazing long jumper, and then I was talking to Marquise Goodwin. He was like, yeah, I've been, who knew who you were? And I was like, well, that, that was shocking. I'm introducing myself because I'm a fan of theirs. And they're like, I already knew you, so it was cool. And then to be out there with other football players like Devin Allen and Tim White was just awesome. You missed spring ball, but what can you take from track into the fall or into training camp? Speed. I know speed in, in college football is everything, and I can take that in there and my explosiveness. Okay, so the season, big expectations, a big season opener against Alabama. I've been told that you guys have been studying a lot more film than maybe you have in the past. Are you one of those guys who's been locked in on the film of Alabama? Not yet, because uh, I've been in track. I've just been watching film in general of everybody. So when I get out there, I'll start honing in on the film um, to get ready and get prepared. I don't want to get too overly focused on X and O's because at the end of the day, you're going to have to go out there and play. So uh, I know what his, I know what their favorite route is, what they like to do, but it's the first game. They might pull out tricks and sleeves. So know it, but at the same time, still use your technique and use your senses and don't overplay it or overthink. Or Adori and I were just talking about how uh, three years ago, it's uh, three years flies by, you're a junior, you're one of the older guys now in the secondary. What do you think your experience will bring to that group, and especially because you have so many young guys up front? A lot, because you think of guys like Sue Cravens and Leonard Williams, who were mentoring us, and Hayes Pillar, Gerald Bowman. Now you have guys like me, Chris Hawkins, Leon McQuay. The defensive secondary is a lot of people who played and been in that in that, that shot and that shine. So we have to be there for the little guys and tell them that, you know, it's all right to be great early. Don't be afraid, because if we throw you in the fire, we're going to have your back. But, you know, don't really expect nothing less from yourself. Just be great. What's your goal for this season, or what should the team's goal be? Um, our team's goal is to take it day by day and just uh, be the best team we can be. Stop worrying about and thinking about what everybody else wants from us and what they think we should have. Because if we think and we want to make them happy, we're not going to be happy for ourselves because we might end up losing the game. Like Everybody thought we was going to make a, a nice run, and we did, but we didn't finish the way we should because we was probably thinking too much of trying to make everybody else happy. Just make ourselves happy. and. Play within ourselves. Don't worry about what the guy next to you is doing. If you trust him, do his job, and you do your job, and everybody else, it's going to be sound football. You're a media day superstar as a junior. Are you going to be a media day superstar as a senior? Uh, catch what I'm throwing at you? Yeah, uh, hopefully. Uh, I'm trying to go to world championships, honestly, next year. So that's, that's still weighing on my mind. And so uh, hopefully I can do it. And I know maybe if I go to God when I go to the league, they might not let me go out there and run track because I'll be a rookie. So. Uh, I mean, that lets you know how much I love track, and I, I'm dedicated, and I'm ready for it. Nice how we got that, that NFL question slipped in there. Adoree, thanks for the time today. No problem.